Good morning, all of you. Thank you. So we will uh, now uh, go to the second part of our series in the uh, serial innovation uh, uh, domain. Uh, it's very interesting that when does serial innovation happen? It happens when you are in the same product segment. That is same product, you are doing innovation every 10 years or every 5 years depending upon how the product is going forward. Today we are going to discuss the bullet dispenser which is the center part which is the big you know what I show you as the bigger product. Though the Z-Line was so successful, it you know swarmed the market. All the petrol pumps showcased the Z-Line petrol pump. So what happened? How could you actually upset that or how could you offset that and come up with another product? Is a very important lesson for us and please see how this happened. In fact, when I was doing it, it was like research for me. I was doing research in this area to see how I can come up with a methodology for innovation. So same products, you know, across different timelines and your taking it to the next level of innovation. So here, why I'm showing you this serial innovation is specifically because finally it is the users at the multiple levels of users, how they are actually accepting your product and how they are demanding and requesting for your product. So that is the part. So our last C, you know, uh, part two is connection with petrol pumps. So very interesting thing happened. Once the Z-Line was very popular, and you know, like uh, it was already six to seven years and I got an offer uh, to join as faculty in IIT Delhi to start a new program in design. So I accepted the offer. I moved from Larsen and Tubro to academics. And then I started doing a lot of uh, uh, programs for industry on telling them how creativity is important for engineering, how you know, uh, innovation methodologies are critical, how design thinking is very important of making those wonderful models to understand design details. So while doing all that, the competitor's head of R&D was, was in one of my exposure workshops for industrial design. So here, for example, when I was looking at all these research and document, I found that there's a life to a product. So it's ethical if you start working on a new design in the same domain after the lifespan of that product is over. So the lifespan given to the Z-Line pump was six years and it was already eight years when Midco came to me. So we said, please come, we will work on this project. So he sent his CEO of the company here. Yeah. The top management support is very important because you know the innovation process, it's a very expensive process, right? The expenses build up while you go in the process. The idea and design phase is not very expensive. Whereas the prototyping phase and the mass production phase is very expensive. And just imagine when a company is not doing well, will they have enough money? The CEO of the company was in the family business. So he took you know, special loans and said, I have to spring back and I have to work with the best in the country, including collaborations for various engineering components and we need to spring back. So this Mr. Roop Chatterjee, who is the CEO of the company, came back to IIT and said, you have to work with us. Now that you are a faculty, you should work with us and you should produce a pump. They didn't say at that time that you should you know, replace the Z-Line or whatever. They said, you have to design a pump so that we also can be in the market. All on the same framework, what I learned in LNT. Remember, I was very clear. Contemporary materials, understand users to the best possible way, bring in up creative ideation. At every stage, let it be manufacturing, technology, creative ideation is a must. So these three pillars were used every time. So we use the same three pillars again for this process. So we took it as a student project and we you know, started the journey. Now look at what Midco was selling. This was what they were selling before the Z-Line came up. This was three years ahead of the Z-Line and after Z-Line came up, nobody was buying this pump. Our electronics was superlative. Our shape was phenomenally new. Our manufacturing was excellent. Our quality control was very, very good. And cost was low. Cost was low because we designed for low cost uh, uh, sort of production. Every part of the sunflower model that petals I showed you were excellent. So this pump could not compete. So when compared to Z-Line, you're seeing that the Midco is a very small company, 100 to 1000th one of the size of Larsen and Tubro. And what was the advantage is it was a single product company. They had no other business other than petrol pumps. And they came to petrol pumps after manufacturing gas cylinders. We need three important things when a new company comes in. You need to have investment in manufacturing, investment in human resource. And biggest challenge is that human resource for design was very difficult to get. And then we looked at, you know, customers were far more demanding over the years. So it's already eight years since we 
did the Z line and lot of things changed in eight years. And remember I was telling you about giving you the example of laptops last time. Every year we're getting laptops which are better, cheaper, much more capable than your earlier laptops. The same phenomenon after 10 years, lot of things changed. So we need to look at everything in a new way. So like luckily as soon as we started the work, the company was very aggressive. See you all know innovation happens in war like situations. Midco, completely out of market, starving. So now like you know within IIT, luckily one of my students agreed to do this project. Manoj Dubey, he was my student uh, at that time in IIT Delhi. He was the third or the fourth batch of design program over there. So Manoj took up this case. We use the same formula of ideation, how we took inspiration, how we made multiple small models, how we did CAD modeling. Today I am going to discuss the management and the collaboration issue more in this because all others are constant whereas in the Z line I didn't talk about that much because the LNT had all the structures inside very well. What happens when the designer joins the company? You get tremendous amount of synergy to take the project forward. So Manoj Dubey had joined the company with Midco. Then Midco started a new department in design. So when you are doing innovation, sometimes your old human resource is not good enough for you. You have to bring completely new people. So Midco completely hired new sort of staff, new staff for doing design, CAD modeling because all they didn't know how to use CAD to take products forward. So this was completely a new setup outside where the design was supposed to be taken care of.